Every student should know how to view their own academic requirements. Let's take a look at how to use SIS to view our academic plan requirements. Log into My Reynolds, access SIS, and then My Student Information. From the home page, we'll look at two different ways to access your academic requirements. The first is under Other Academic Links, Academic Requirements. The other is from the left-hand menu. First click Academic Records, and then My Academic Requirements. Here we'll see your advising report. There's a lot of information contained in this report. At the top, you'll notice three buttons. These allow you to collapse or expand the sections of the report. The third allows you to open the report as a separate PDF file. The first section in any academic requirement report is the Virginia Transfer Passport. This is an optional section and does not apply to your completion requirements for your current academic program. You can scroll past this section to find your actual academic program below. You'll notice when you get to your actual academic plan, it will have course grad rec and the number for your plan. It will next tell you the status of your plan, whether it is satisfied or not satisfied. Moving through the report, you'll see your different academic requirements broken into sections. We see here our SDB 101 is the first section in our requirements. For each requirement, a list of one or more courses will appear that can be used to satisfy that requirement. Each time you complete a course that applies to your academic plan, it will start to populate under the corresponding section and the heading of that section will change from not satisfied to satisfied. Sometimes it's easier to view this report as a PDF. Once the PDF report is opened, you'll notice it is color coded. This is very helpful for keeping track of your requirements. First, we'll need to scroll past the passport section and look for the bold line that separates it from our academic plan. You can see here any of our not satisfied requirements are going to appear in red. This allows us to easily scan the report for requirements that we have yet to fulfill. Whenever you register for a course that applies to your academic plan, it will appear here in a blue and white box under the corresponding section. You can see this student is currently taking English 111. The English 111 requirement now shows as satisfied and the grade will appear once the course has been completed. Under this section, you can see the student had transfer credit applied to their academic plan. Notice the grade of T for each of these courses. At the very bottom of your academic requirements report, you can see a couple of additional things to consider your GPA and residency requirements, as well as unused courses. This list of unused courses are courses that are in your course history, but have not been applied to your academic plan. These may be withdrawn courses, as we can see one here with the W grade, or transfer courses that did not apply to this current academic plan. This is good to look at to see if maybe one course or two didn't go up into the plan like it was supposed to. If you see something down here that does belong in your plan and has a passing grade, speak with your advisor to make sure that course gets applied to your academic requirements. Remember, this report will update each time you register for classes. So it's a great idea to check it during registration periods to make sure you're on track for graduation and fulfilling all necessary plan requirements. If you have questions or concerns about your academic plan report, please reach out to your academic advisor.